production strategies are mainly classified into four categories. One, make to site. Two, assemble to order. Three, make to order. Four, engineer to order. Make to site. Imagine a scenario you enter a shop to buy some tea bags. Do you find your needs or instead the shopkeeper says, please order your tea bag here. They will order from the tea bags factory. They will produce for you and it will arrive next month. Of course not. The tea company produces millions of tea bags and stock them in their store. Most of the food industry follow make to stock to their manufacturing systems. Assemble to order. Buying a PC personal computer is an understandable example of an ATO strategy. They ask about feature you want. For example, how much RAM you need, what graphic card you want, and how many core are enough for you. Finally, they assemble the PC based on your order. Make to order. Ordering a steak at a restaurant should be the most straightforward example to clarify this method. They cook the steak based on your order. 4. Engineer to order. Building a bridge, a ship, and an aircraft is the best example for this kind of manufacturing strategy. We used to use the MTS strategy in the woodworking unit. I mean, we have had warehouse to stack our raw furniture frames. We manufactured and finished furniture in woodworking and stacked them in the semi-final warehouse. But now we are trying to follow the just-in-time concept. We turn our strategy to ATO. No, we don't manufacture and finish furniture frames. We just manufacture the items, legs, arms, and so on. Then put on the shelves based on the daily planning order, we assemble the unfinished furniture frame. By doing this, we could decrease the space by up to 70% in one of the most extensive company warehouses. In fact, now we have just a temporary warehouse for unfinished furniture frame. <laughs> 